Hello everyone, I'm Amir Hussain. Welcome to this training video. In this video, we will talk about a utility which is called MosBC. MosBC is a utility that you can use to generate the boundary conditions for the particulate matter of the WolfCam domain. So uh, we have a WolfCam domain in this screen. Let me uh, show you some gaseous pollution for example NO2 uh, so for gaseous pollutions and for particulate matter it is especially for the stimulations that take for uh, a couple of days or longer a specifying particulate matters boundary conditions for particulate matters can have a significant effect on the accuracy of your uh, output on the accuracy of your simulations and the accuracy of your output but uh, you can run WarfCam without using MOSBC it's uh, possible to run WarfCam however with uh, specifying the boundary conditions you will have you will get much more accurate uh, outputs so um, in this video I will show you how to install how to download and install most bc and how to download the required um, input data for running most bc and the next in the next video i will show you how to uh, run most bc itself so for um, downloading most bc just search download most BC and from this link download WarfCam processors I open this link and from here uh, here's a link for NCAR website and you're supposed to input your information your name affiliation email and uh, after submitting this form you you will get access to these utilities or programs and one of them the first the first program is actually most basic so i have already downloaded this utility so i will show you how to install it okay This is the MOSBC tar file that I have downloaded. I copy it here. Let me check what is the problem. Let me create MOSBC second number two. I go to MOSBC number two and I copy it here. So uh, in this step, I untar this file. has been untarred for installing most BC uh, there is a readme file or yeah there is a readme file you can open it readme file and <coughs> go to the building most BC there is a section there is a separate section which is called building most BC um, it's quite a straightforward you need to set 
only two environment variables and after that you can easily install it that uh, those two environment variables are actually fc which is fortran compiler and netcdf directory so uh let me copy this netcdf directory okay i export fc export fc equal g fortran which is the uh, def default fortran compiler of linux and also netcdf directory equals i have already set the environment variable for netcdf this is netcdf this is the environment variable environment variable that I, I have already set for installing wolfcam model if you don't know how to set the environment variable for netcdf you can check the video for installing the wolf model so this is the second uh, environment variable now we are ready to compile it before that I open again read me compiling is by uh, a special script which is called make mosbc this script mosbc you are supposed to run this script and it will compile and install mosbc for you but before running that let me open this make mosbc and if you pay attention to the first line you can see that the first line is not based on bash uh, because many linux linux distributions are actually uh, based on bash as the default uh, shell profile so you are supposed to change your shell profile from bash to csh so i just issue the csh command <clears throat> after that i'm actually in the csh shell now i can issue this command csh and make mosbc and mosbc build okay now i list the files and you can see that uh, the mosbc binary file or executive has been created here so it was quite a straightforward and uh, now let me show you how to download input data for running mosbc for downloading input data for mosbc there are two distinct websites actually both both of these websites are for the ncar website but um, uh, for the first the reason that you have two um, data sets is that the first data set which is cam chemistry let me zoom in a little bit cam chemistry or cam cam data set it um, actually covers from where is the date here it covers a period from 2001 to 2020 so for the for the data newer than uh, for the newer data or the data after 2020 you have to use another data set which is vacuum vacuum supports uh, or provides data after august 20 2090 until two weeks ago so for uh, the newer data set you have to use vacuum but the methodology to get these data both of them are similar both of them actually have the similar method to get the data for vacuum you need to put your email and your name and affiliations although they are optional and after that you're supposed to specify the bounding box of your wharf domain or the symbol or your simulation domain and after that uh, you specify the data range 
you can get data up to 32 days so after specifying the domain the spatial uh, extent and the temporal period of your simulations you can submit your order and depending on the extent of your domain and the number of days it takes a while but after uh, you get the after a while you get an email this is an email that I got from my uh, previous order after a while you get an email and by this email you can easily download the data that you ordered so uh, the data is ordered the data is available after you download the data and after you um, install the most BC everything is ready for running the most BC in the next video I will show you how to run most BC